Hi, my name is Deshae McLeod, and I'm the President and CEO of Community Hospice. This past year, we've had the awesome opportunity to celebrate our 40-year anniversary, and I've had the opportunity to celebrate all of that with all of you, and not only our staff, but all of our wonderful community supporters, our donors, the people that have supported us throughout this lifelong journey. Six years ago, I joined Community Hospice and it has been truly an honor and a privilege to work with the CHI family, all of the team, all the people in the community and our healthcare partners. I'm very honored to serve in this capacity and very honored to serve you. This past year, we've had the awesome privilege to hear from a few of the many that have honored our legacy. Community hospice is important to me because it allows me to give back to the communities that I live in, number one. Uh, number two, it helped me with my mom when she passed at 101. And it was so nice, not in this area, but it's the same spirit. And it, what was so nice about it was that even though I'm a, a, a member of community hospice, that somebody else came in and played that role for me so I could be a daughter. On a pure dollar and cents, hospice care is more effective. But the more important thing is how the family does. Uh, when you're supported through a process and you understand what is happening to your loved one, whether it may be on a medical basis or the emotional basis, it, it's, an, it's an effective way to uplift everybody and get them to the, one of life's most difficult experiences. So our first patient was Vivian Adamson. I don't remember her age. She was probably in her 60s, I would say. But she agreed to be our very first. And I think of that. She was willing to let us come into her home to trust us she knew she was the first and that honestly she was going to be teaching us what to do how to help her how to support her you know probably the most rewarding thing i've i've felt is is having people that you don't even know uh, come in the organization and volunteer their time now what i've learned over all 18 years i was here was most people had a reason they were giving back they were uh, repaying us in some way, the only way maybe they had, uh, being able to give back what we'd given them in terms of loss, the loss of their loved one. Well, some people may wonder why hospice is important, both as in general as well as to our community as a whole. And um, th there's a number of reasons, um, but uh, it's, it's so important to treat the whole person and the whole family. And there's no other organization that's capable of doing that. And they're capable of doing that in many, many settings, uh, even in a nursing home. Uh, it's a whole added level of care that, that your loved one gets uh, by having the hospice team in. We're there at a time in someone's life that is just, um, it's, a, it's a frightening time, it's confusing. You know, we can't take away their, their pain, we can't take away their, their loss or what they're experiencing, but what an honor it is for us to be there to support them and help them make positive memories and have some, just be there to hold their hand and let them know that they're not alone while they're going through this. Um, that to me is an honor and it's one of the best things that community hospice does. Our population is getting older and as a population gets older there's going to be more people that are going to need help uh, as they s struggle with illnesses and at the end, end of, their, of their lives. And hospice fits that niche. Um, community hospice is more efficient in giving quality care, uh, increasing quality of life, decreasing the cost to those people who would like to spend as much time at home as possible toward the end of their life. And that's why, that's why I keep coming back to hospice.
never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that community hospice would become what it is and maintain the spirit of the hospice. That I am immensely humbled and proud of that. I like to think of myself as the biological parent. <laughs> The people who have been there since I have had done a beautiful job of raising that child. And I, I just can't believe it. It's, it's wonderful. More than I could have imagined or hoped for. I'm very grateful that it's still there and that you all are doing such a wonderful job in so many ways. So thank you. I would like to say a special thanks to everyone that have been a part of and have helped to celebrate our 40 year anniversary. I look forward to the years to come serving alongside you as we work to provide our mission throughout the communities that we serve. Thank you and congratulations, Community Hospice.